In this video, we're going to use tan, the tan function, to make a platform move, and we're going to see how it moves and see if it's useful for our, our game, for our level here. So we're going to make a new script. Well, first we're going to make a platform. Game object, 3D object, cube. We'll put it at 0, 20, 0, or really just wherever our player starts and just a little bit off. I'm going to make it bigger so we can stand on it. OK. And now we need a new script. Right click, create. C sharp script, we'll call it tan oscillator and open up that script. So this is going to be a lot like the sine and cos oscillator, so I'm going to just copy that code. Okay, and when I copied the code, there's some funny spacing and stuff here, so you can click edit, format, format document, it just makes it nice and readable again. And so you might want to just have a look at this or copy it out, but it's what we did before basically, start position and all that, and we're getting the x, y, z, and then we're changing our x and setting our position to that. So if we use cos, we know what happens, it goes side to side smoothly, or up and down, whatever. If we use tan, and actually map f, you can type tan or a tan or whatever you want, but we're going to go with tan this time and use our x is going to follow that 10. Actually, we're going to use z. Let's use z. Save that and go into Unity. And you need to click that platform because right now 10 oscillator is just a text file on our computer. So you need to attach it to the game. So the game actually runs the code we wrote. I think it was z, right? Yeah, good. So if I press play, and we look around, it was here. Oh, it's there now. Whatever. Okay, so there's tan. That's what tan looks like. Let's have a close look at this. It is staying in the middle and then zipping off <laughs> really fast. And it's actually coming back from way over here. Like a warp engine or some, something crazy. I kind of want to jump on that and see what's going to happen. And it's gone. Whoa, did I stay on that? That's crazy. How does that even... Whoa. Okay, anyways, so something's happening here, and it's a different shape than the sine and cos, right? So this was sine. It actually stays... It, it's moving fast when it gets to the middle. And then at the edges, it's slow. This one is the opposite. In the middle, it's slow. And then it zips off into infinity. And if you do a search for a tan function, that's exactly what you'd expect. Um, right here, this is our, our z coordinate. So it starts slow and then it zips off right into infinity. That's what these gray vertical lines are. It's a tangent. And it doesn't touch it, but it just goes off into infinity, into positive infinity, and then it comes back from negative infinity over here. Now let's say maybe I wanted to make this less challenging to jump on, okay? Because it's barely in the center. What I could do is change the amplitude. Well, let's see what happens when I do that. Instead of so before when we changed the amplitude, it made the platform move really high and really low instead of moving a little bit. What's going to happen if I do that to 10? I did times 10. Okay, so it seems to move more, but it's still not spending very long in a safe place. What if I wanted to make it just take its time, you know, like make it so it stays kind of in the middle for like five seconds instead of really briefly, right? This might be too hard of a platform to jump on. Here we actually need to change the period. So here's our tan function, right? It goes up and then it comes back here and then whoop, like that. Now if I wanted to spread this out more, that would involve changing these lines, okay? These are these tangent lines where it go, hits infinity. I want to spread that out. Now, right now, 
If this happens at pi over 2 seconds, so 1.5 seconds, and 3 pi over 2, which is which is uh, 3 over 2 times pi, 4.7. 4 so happens at 4.7 seconds, and this happens at 1.5 seconds, so it's about 3 seconds in between each. Well, look, that's, that's pi. That's 3.14, exactly. So what if instead of 3 seconds between each, because right now, if I press play, so it's 3 seconds. So if I count when it hits the center, boom. Boom. That's 3 seconds. Boom. So if I wanted that to be 9 seconds, I'd have to multiply something by 3. Well, you multiply the period by 3. Now, if you wanted it to be faster or slower is whether you divide or multiply. So let's say it's at 1 second. If I were to say pretend that 1 second is the same as 3 seconds, then I'm going to multiply by 3. Is this going to make it faster or slower, do you think? Well, let's save it and find out. That is faster. Okay, so the period now, even though I multiplied time by 3, the period is 1 third. So it's pi divided by 3 seconds. So how about if I divide by 3, save that. Okay, much slower and that's what we wanted for our game. So I forgot to put a goal platform over there, but you could now jump on it and then before it speeds off, you can jump off to another place. And that is the tan platform, tan function.